live at the Buffalo Museum of Science. We are having way too much fun, yeah. Mercedes. Yep. I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still, still working this out. She's like a mystery maven. I, I think, think she's it's Gina had. DNA. She has it all figured out. Gina mm -hmm. DNA. Geneticist. Uh, yes? Yeah. In the rethink Our, extinct room. Yep. The with, puffer fish. I think it was the puffer fish. You're probably right. With the puffer you're fish. You're probably right, but yep. you won't know until tomorrow. Make sure you get your tickets. It is at sciencebuff.com. Or, yes. okay, check it out. All right, we're gonna talk more about these upcoming events because I can't get enough of this event that's coming in February. It's a big, big deal because everybody is on the, what do I get next in terms of yes. the device, right? Yeah. Those virtual reality goggles, kind of a big deal, yeah. right? Like everybody wants them. They're a bit expensive, but they're, they're coming down in price, which means more people will be having them. And Marisa, this is one of those events that will teach you the ins and outs of what virtual reality is, right? That's exactly it. We're welcoming Reinventing Reality as a new exhibit that will be with us opening in February and running through the spring. And it will offer a number of really fun, immersive virtual reality experiences, but perhaps even more important than that, the inside of it. What makes virtual reality? Mm -hmm. And you know, we're hoping we're going to share a little entertainment, we're going to share a little education, and we hope we'll be inspiring some of those science and technology leaders of the future. Could you imagine if our girls ended up being like technological experts in virtual reality? Can you imagine if this is the event that inspires that for yeah. our little ones? This is the future. And let me tell you, Emily is so, it's like this is all you. <laughs> Like, this is all you. I think there's a lot of folks in Buffalo that have that inner nerd that they just can't wait to, like, let yeah. them play. If you're like me, because I know you're like me, she just doesn't want to admit it. She'll get there. It's well, okay. I can't but wait to try it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to try it. I can't wait. Yeah. So. It's going to be great because it's here until July, correct? So even if you don't get in right away, which you should, because this is the what people are going to be talking about. You're going to want to be able to share about this. Make sure you're hopping on social media mm -hmm. because this is, this is what the future is. Yeah. Not only virtual reality, but the ability to share experiences with everybody um, via the internet. And I have seen the pictures. You're seeing them right now. This was sent to us by the folks who put together this event. And it looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's like the kids aren't just using the goggles. They're yeah. getting involved. They're getting active, correct, Marisa? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So go goggles on, um, but experiences along the way, building up to that fully immersive virtual reality experience. You learn layer upon layer what goes into it. Yes, so that being said, what do people need to do? Because advanced purchase is recommended, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So uh, we want everybody to have a great experience in the exhibit. We can only have so many people come through at a time, of course. Mm -hmm. So we really do encourage you to go online and reserve your tickets in advance, sciencebuff.org. Easy, easy. Yeah, indeed. Before we go, I just have to say what I love about this museum. You're talking technology, which is future but you're also talking about things that families can come and do where kids can literally dig their hands yes. in. Yes. So there's something for everyone at every stage of life. Just speak to that before we go. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this museum, it's so special because we really do run that spectrum. We, we are, in a lot of ways, a natural history museum. We have wonderful collections and exhibits that feature the, our natural world and what we can learn from it. At the same time, we're a hands-on science center where you, just as you say, Mercedes, get in there, hands-on, let's dig, let's understand it. Um, and then looking to the future, what's coming next and how do we inspire our kids today to be a part of that future success. I love it. Thank you so much, Marisa. Thank you so much to Amy. Thank you so much to Troy, our witness. This has been a really fun day, but you know what we need to end on? We need to go look for more clues in one of the funnest rooms here at the museum. This is wonderful, especially if you have kids with sensory, um, specific sensory issues. This would be a wonderful place to take your kids. And like you were saying, Mercedes, look at this. Isn't this oh, something beautiful. where the kids can really get involved? It is gorgeous. Can you hear the sounds? It's the sensory room, and it is definitely one of the rooms you're going to have to check out at the event tomorrow. We hope you had fun today. Oh, we did. It's F. Aaron Height, Sensory Eerie, Sensory It was the pufferfish. It was the pufferfish. Sciencebuff.org. <laughs>